Three, two, one, go. What's up, guys? So I get this question a lot, how to lower the polys of your scene, how to, uh, how to bring the numbers down so Nomad doesn't crash when you go really high. So I'm going to show you how I do that with mine. So the first thing you want to do, a uh, really easy thing that I do is make a rounded edge tool. So rounded edge tool, what that does is you can tap on uh, anything and then you can drag from the middle and it will round out the edges, all of the edges. So once you do that, we'll be able to decimate and then we'll be able to lower the number. So just bear with me if that's confusing. I'm just going to show you, um, I'm going to show you everything that I'm saying right now. So I'm going to turn post process off so we can move around a little easier. So take your smooth brush, your smooth tool, uh, tap it and then tap clone. And I'm just going to name mine R edge for uh, rounded edge. So you'll see it'll, it'll show up down here once you clone it and you name it. So then go up here and see the, the menus kind of changed a little bit. So what you have to do is go to fall off and change your fall off to flat. So go to fall off here and then just tap here and then just change it to flat. So that's the first thing you want to do. The next thing you want to do is go to pressure and you want to change all these to flat as well. So you can tap them and then just go flat, tap, flat, up oh, there, oops, there we go, there we go. So now they're both, uh, they're both flat. So that's what you want. You want your fall off to be flat and you want your pressure to be flat and then uh, lock radius. Yeah, the one, so the one thing that I forgot was uh, go down to here and do lock radius. So you want fall off flat, uh, pressure flat, and then uh, lock radius. So for the stroke, you want lock radius. Okay, so now you can go back to our edge and just save it, confirm save, and now you have it. So what that does is, so for example, if I make a new shape, so if I add a box, So if I add a box here, and let's say we validate it, and you know we want it to, we want to make it like very detailed. So let's go ahead and let's say we subdivide it twice. You know you're building something; it always winds up being a lot, like very heavy. So we validate it, and now the box is 587k, which is a lot. So what I would do is take the round edge. Make it, we'll make it bigger. So we'll take the round edge, go to the box, and go like this. So I see the blue dot in the middle. I'm just dragging out from the middle. And what it's doing is it's rounding off these little edges. So it still looks like a box. It still looks pretty clean, but the edges are, are round. So it's rounding off these edges here. I just turned on the, the wireframe. I don't really, I don't really use the wireframes too much, but some people kind of understand them. So that's what it does. That's what rounded edge does. I'm going to turn it off. So now that we've used the rounded edge, uh, what you want to do to lower this size is go here, like go to these options here, like the voxel remission stuff. So go to decimate, deci UV. So you want deci UV. And then you have, these are my settings here for decimation. Decimation lowers the number. So sometimes what I do is after I make a scene, I'll go back and I'll decimate everything. Uh, there's a point of no return as well. So we'll hit decimate. It goes down by half. Now it's 293. And it'll just keep, it'll just keep lowering. And you notice now it's at 36 K still looks, still looks good. Still looks fine. You're still able to use that, but you can go lower 18, nine, so we'll just bring it down until it starts looking crazy. Still looks pretty good. We'll do it one, once more, twice more. So now it's at 575, so it's really small. Let's see, 288 and 145. So I might stick to like 145 because it's really, really small, but it still looks fine. It still looks perfect. And if you keep going, it'll start to deform. So obviously, like, you don't really want it to deform. So... 
you just kind of step back until until it works. So like 73, like that looks good. That still looks fine. So that's that's one way to lower the lower your sizes of everything. Is you just have to decimate, but just make sure it doesn't go down to the point where you can see that it looks bad. See, this looks fine. And the good thing about this, if you want to use if you want to make shapes and make things and use the um where is it? If you want to use the curve, you know how we have all the curve options now. And say you want to do something like this, you know, or you're making you're making something with the curve, but you want to add a bunch of them. So now you can make your curve. Let's add a bunch. So now you can make your curve in whatever kind of shape you want. You know, whatever you're making. So you can do that. And then if you want to like, let's say you want to take the curve and you want to just like validate this now, it's not going to crash because this curve is only 1300, like uh, 1,314. So it's not very big at all. That's why you want you don't want to do stuff like this when each one is like, you know, 5,000 or 10,000 or 20,000, because then it's going to be it's going to be huge. So that's what you do. So another good thing about um, the round edge brush is also if you're going to use. Uh, where is the square? So the round edge brush is great. Let's validate it. If you want to, whoop, I hate when I accidentally move things around. I wish I could just like lock this. So I'll use rounded edge and you can also just make like really smooth boxes. You can smooth out the edges. Uh, and if you want them really, really smooth, then just voxel remesh it really low and then keep going and it'll make really smooth boxes. So you can do this for any shape. Um, but if you don't want to shape, if you, again, if you want it to be like a more like a regular box, then you can always uh, just voxel remesh it high. You can do your details or whatever, and then eventually just do rounded edge a couple times and then decimate until it still looks good. So, for example, this character, the body is 354K, which is really, really big. Um, and I've worked on this character a lot. I've pretty much smoothed everything out, so I don't really need to do rounded edge. I would just go and decimate it. You know, now it's 177. Still looks good. I don't see any differences. It's at 44. So I might do it once or twice more. Still looks good. And it's at 11K. Um, now I probably could um, do rounded edge and sort of really dial it in so I could get it down lower. But this is just for art's sake, so I don't really need to make it that low. The nose, I'll just go in and decimate a couple times. Still looks good. But you want to decimate everything, even like these little eyelashes. They don't really need to be like like high number. 12.2K is way too high for these. So I'll decimate it. Go down to like the collar. So you just have to do that for everything. The collar's already low. The shirt, you can decimate. Uh, things like that. Hands. Decimate. Bring everything down. Boots. So that's pretty much how I decimate everything and how I get the numbers low. See, now for this scene, whereas... Uh, it looks like these are already... Everything's pretty small. I'm just checking the sizes of everything. Everything's pretty small. So now my scene is 258K. So of course I could probably get it lower. Got to do things like eyes, pupils, get everything down low, uh, something like that. And you can just keep going and just make sure that you get all the pieces and just make sure you decimate everything. And that's how you get every, that's how you get things to be really low and to really save your, your projects. That's an easy way to do it. Let's delete this box. 194K, and it just goes on and on. Oh, the t-shirt is pretty high. 167K. So that's how you lower your 
polygons. Uh, and just keep that in mind as you're building things. Uh, you, you, sometimes you want high detail, but just remember to uh, use the rounded edge and try to decimate it once you're done with everything. Uh, and just as a side note, if you want to color things in, then um, do that while it's high. Like don't don't decimate everything and then try to color it because the color won't come through because it won't be as dense. So it won't be as high detail. So do all that stuff like before that. So I'm going to color him. So I might bring the, I might uh, undo and make it a little, uh, do more detailed coloring, but I might not. I don't know. It might be fine. We'll see. But uh, yeah, so that's how I lowered, that's how I lowered the size. And that's how you can keep Nomad from crashing on you. All right. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you're really serious about learning, then definitely check out my Skillshare classes. Just go to my website, drugfreedave.com. I have 2D classes in Procreate and 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video.